Hi guys, the old man's back in the shop again. Another small project. Um, actually, it's one that several people have been doing. In essence, Randy Richard did a very nice job on, uh, what was it, on his Logan? I forget now. Putting a DRO slider uh, attached to the ways and uh, hooked up to the uh, carriage. And I got a very inexpensive unit, which I trimmed down. I think I showed it to you some time back. I've actually got another, which I intend to fit to the uh, tailstock. Something that uh, Chuck Bomarito did recently. That, uh, that's next on the list. So this video is just uh, making up the one for the, for the lathe bed. It's pretty simple. It's not a not a very uh, uh, polished effort. It's uh, strictly functional, and uh, thus far I think it'll do the job. It actually only covers about four inches, but uh, I think for my purposes that's going to be quite adequate. It's not the sort of thing I'd use all the time, but uh, for some jobs I think it'd be quite useful. So it was done in bits, it wasn't all done in one big go, it was done in bits for the usual sort of reasons, <laughs> I sort of paced myself. Um, I skipped quite a few stages, or just showed odd bits, I had a problem with a 5 8 end bill, it wasn't really suitable for the job I was doing, but I managed, and so it's, it's hopefully not too long just to give you some idea of how it's turned out. And uh, with that, I'll stop blabbling, as uh, Phil says. No, babbling, he says, doesn't he? <laughs> I talk about waffling. So anyway, here you go. Just a quick review of the uh, making process and uh, try and get back in here again soon when I can and make the one for the tail stop. All right, anyway, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Here's some uh, inch and a quarter by three eighth. Rather rough old aluminum bar. Uh, taken a piece off and cleaned it up on the uh, belt sander. I'm too lazy to want to mill it all round because it's not super critical. What we do want though is I want two shallow pockets uh, for some uh, neodymium magnets so that this can go onto the lathe rail as a means of attachment for the vernier when I get that far. I'm just putting some, uh, it's actually number 39, just slightly larger than uh, 25 mil for a 3 by 0.5 thread. Trying some alcohol for a change. <laughs> Not drinking it, drilling with it. <clears throat> rubbing alcohol uh, <laughs> tends to dissolve any sharpie marks but that doesn't matter now seems quite useful first time I tried it I uh, can't remember who mentioned it to a couple of people have mentioned it recently so what I want to do now is a 5 8 or 16 mil pocket on each side there so I'm going to set up for that Well, we're nearly down to the bottom on this one, but even this cut is not very good. And I've <laughs> it's like I've said before, with some sizes, I've got no uh, no choice, 5 eighths. I've got this one under 16 mil, and that's all I can find.
Oh, there's my 150. But, uh, yeah, I wish I had a better cut than that. No mind. Only making a pocket. Oh, well, I got there in the end. I forgot to put the camera back on, the second one. Yeah, it's not the right cutter. It's not what I want for a plunge. I had to take it very easy. Uh, it's, uh, I was trying to improve my stock of larger cutters. Anyway, what I'm going to do, take it out of the take it out of the vise, and I'm going to hand tap both of those very carefully, and uh, see if we can fit the magnets. Okay, we've tapped the uh, tap the holes. Bear in mind, this is not going to be up to the Randy Richards uh, standard of perfection. Somewhat functional, but uh, this is stage one. It's still a pretty rough piece of aluminum, really. I'll show you where it's going to go. All right, well this goes, this goes on here, so we can still, still move the uh, tailstock. Uh, I had thought I'd try and get from here to the end of this, this bolt which holds the, uh, um, threading index dial but it may be <clears throat> maybe depending where I finish up I can drill this to attach a magnet and then bring this out bring this out perhaps to to there so I think we'll have to weld a piece of thin plate onto here to give a base to put this on. It's all going to be suck it and see, <laughs> which is like my usual stuff. I'm not covering all aspects of this. I'm trying to keep it uh, fairly short, fairly simple. Um, this is a piece of eighth that I'm going to attach to the magnet block, shall we call it. I've worked out an approximate angle that I need but and, and I was going to weld it. I was going to take this further forward and weld it along an edge but I want some flexibility with choice of angle. So what we're going to do over at the uh, drill press, a uh, couple of holes which we're going to drill and tap uh, 832 so you can fix that and then I'm going to put a bend on and see how it's going to work out. Well I had second thoughts here, the uh, two magnets hold quite well but I've uh, decided to add a third one I've gone down half a thou deeper so hopefully it won't rock on them, I'll have to uh, see how that works out. But anyway, um, got this to a suitable angle and I'd like to have used the end of this but it wasn't really going to be practical. So what we've done here, I've drilled, I've drilled here to tap for a 3mm by 0.5 so I can hold one of these countersunk button neodymiums and more or less the last more or less the last thing I need to do here is attach the uh, readout to the plate and it contacts on here quite quite adequately that holds pretty strong so let me just check. 
be careful getting this uh, fixed but I think that's going to do the trick we'll have to see it's not very sophisticated but on occasions not all the time but on occasions I do want some sort of readout to check on things either this end or sometimes the other end with a magnetic indicator so it may help and then the other thing I need to put one on my tailstock which you can't see it's out of frame so let's get this stuck on all right well it's functional uh, I can't quite get the full range. Well, I don't know. I'm pretty well up to the end here. So, I get up to about four inch, just four inches of fairly good range, and that for most purposes will probably do what I want. So, do I paint it or don't I? I don't know. <laughs> you know me, functional is uh, the name of the game. So the next one I'll try and make is something for the uh, tailstock, long overdue. See how it goes. So that's that one finished for now anyway. So uh, thanks for watching this simple little project, <laughs> albeit with a crappy 5.8 Zen mill.